Our neighbors to the north are staying away from the valley big time. Canadian traffic into the valley is at its lowest level in five years. Valley News Team's Neil Carlson shows us what's happening and how it's creating a great opportunity for your family. The latest statistics from the Pembina station show 36,000 vehicle crossings in August. That's down 31% from a year ago. Experts say the problem is money. Today, the Canadian dollar is worth only 77 cents in the U.S. Yes, um, the exchange rate obviously is, is impacting that considerably at, at, at this point, we think. Okay. Uh, we have more inventory of hotel rooms right now, so we know our occupancy rate is down. It's, it's just kind of a struggle to say exactly how much. It all adds up to what's a great deal if you're considering a quick trip to Winnipeg. One U.S. dollar is worth a buck twenty-nine up in Canada. To say we are an eccentric bunch is an understatement. We work hard, we play hard. Winnipeg knows they have a good thing going. That's why we're seeing more advertising, urging Fargo and Grand Forks residents to visit Winnipeg. With my professional hat on, uh, hat on, it's absolutely something fabulous for us because the Americans can come up and throw, you know, their dollar can go way further right now. And really the campaign is around uh, coming to shop, come to stay here. If you stay two nights, you get the third night free. Nouveau goes on to cite a long list of new attraction and stores in Winnipeg. She also notes that traffic to Winnipeg is already up 7%. We may do things a little different around here, but we think you will like it. In Grand Forks, Neil Carlson, Valley News Law. Despite less Canadian traffic, the latest sales tax collection numbers in Grand Forks are up 8%. If you want to learn more about special offers and attractions in Winnipeg, we have a link on valleynewslive.com. Click on this story.